contacted the news station, just trying to shine light and get word out. A mother reaching out to WSAV, hoping to get answers soon after she says she and her family have been exposed to mold in their home for a month now. It is our top story tonight. WSCV Sarah Smith has more on what the family has been going through mentally and physically. Well, Tina and Ben, this is bigger than the physical symptoms of living with mold like coughing, sneezing and trouble breathing. This mother of three says it's taking a toll on her mentally as well. And her biggest concern right now is her kids. We can see it, smell it. Um, my, turn, my kids are having, you know, health issues. Well, they have allergies and asthma already prior. So now I hear them sneezing, coughing. DeAndrea Lewis, her husband and three kids, all living in what most consider unlivable conditions. She says management with Royal Dutch Villas has factual evidence that this is mold growing in her apartment. But that was a month ago and she wants solutions now. I need to, them to know how serious and take this serious. This is our livelihoods. Lewis showed me her children's bedroom where she says the mold ruined dozens of their clothes and toys, leaving them no choice but to throw them away. Then she took a step further, moving her autistic children out of the room entirely, now sleeping on the couch, altering the kids' much needed routines. Any mom who knows who have kids on the autistic spectrum knows that anything can alternate their behavior. So they have been, therapists at you know the school have been telling me that they noticed a change recently. Just walking through the home, I could see water on the damaged floors. The source of the mold, she believes, is coming from the vacant apartment below her. You know how our floor is down? You can see the wetness where it's all the, I'm guessing it's growing. We took a look at it for ourselves. She says she's trying to prevent her unit from getting this bad, or she's just hoping to get some of her money back and move elsewhere, which isn't as easy as it sounds for a family of five. I pray a pretty, pretty penny for this. Um, so I would just like to be treated as a long time tenant, a trustworthy long time tenant. You, you're just treating me like a, a nobody and I don't, it, it makes you feel, you know, a, a way. WSAV has reached out to the Royal Dutch Villas for a statement or an update. We have not yet heard back, but we will keep you updated on air and online. Sarah Smith, WSAV News 3, on your side.